Hey guys, thanks for joining me again on a Friday for another legal tip. Our legal tip this week is transferable termite bonds and the seller disclosure. So I had a great conversation with a real estate agent uh, that I really, I really like talking with about these things. And the question was, they had a closing. The seller disclosure said that there was a transferable termite bond on the property. However, in the contract, the buyer did not ask for the seller to provide one or pay for one. Um, the buyer closes, everything is fine. After closing, the buyer decides they want to pay for their own the termite bond. So they contact the company that the seller said the transfer transferable bond was with and asked to transfer the bond only to find out that the bond was not in fact transferable. So what are, what are the issues here and who has to pay for this? So this is quite different, however, from our legal tip we talked about a couple of months ago with MLS. If something is in the MLS, but it's not in the contract, it clearly does not transfer. It has to be part of the actual contract because the MLS is basically an offer and it's between agents, not between buyers and sellers that the contract is. This is different because this wasn't a situation where in the contract they were asking for the termite bond. Rather, this was a situation where they relied on the representations made in that seller disclosure. So the question is, was the seller disclosure incomplete, misleading or false? The answer appears to be yes. If the bond is not transferable and they disclose that it was, it looks to be an incomplete or misleading or false statement made by the seller. So the seller would therefore have the duty to make that right. Now, of course, the seller defense could be that the buyer had an opportunity to do, to do some due diligence and the buyer had the opportunity to call the termite company and ask those questions they chose not to. But ultimately, I think it comes back down to a improper disclosure. And I think the seller is on the hook for that. So what you need to understand from this is you need to really make sure that your client knows for sure if the termite bond is transferable. And if they don't know for sure, they don't need to say it is. They just might say may be transferable. Contact the termite company. Um, they certainly should be able to find that information out. But tell them to be very careful of just saying something's a transferable termite bond because you have a termite bond on the house. Not all of them are transferable. So be very careful on that. Hope that will provide you all some information to help your sellers as well as your buyers. And we hope you have a good weekend and please see us again for a closing real soon. You know, we do have the Lexington office, the Greenville office and the Columbia office, and we'd love to do your closings. Thank you very much.